Welcome back, everyone. This is Anger, Sadness, and Envy. I'm Narcogen, the webmaster of Bungie fansite Rampancy.net, and I'm here with Blackstar of Blackstar Productions. How is everybody doing? Hi, I'm Cody Miller. All right, so this is the multiplayer loading screen, and what you, they put in other ships to represent the other... Are these, are you, these your teammates or your opponents, or it doesn't matter, or...? I don't know. I think they're probably my teammates. But a nice touch is that whenever you go to orbit, you're in orbit around the last place that you were. So, like, I'm going to be fighting on the moon here. And if you go to orbit, then you're actually orbiting the moon instead of the Earth. So that's kind of cool. Oh, it's a neat, neat thing you can do with just a little contextual... Okay, well, another guy came in there. So another ship. Oh, there you go. Another one. Yeah, these don't look like your same design. Are they supposed to delineate species, types, No, 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 because you, you can buy other ships. You can't. Well, yeah. But again, you said they're cosmetic. They're totally cosmetic. Moon's got a big chunk okay. out of it on the side. Did anybody else notice that? <laughs> mm. Yeah, because it was, I guess, blown up from the hive. It went boom, boom. Not by the Traveler? I want to blame the Traveler for anything. Control. I'm going to be like Jilly Bean and Cortana. And you have to watch this cutscene, mini cutscene, at the beginning of every match. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> And defend, so I'm not that great, so don't. Okay, now here <laughs> yeah. are here are some of the other vehicles. Now I think the first one was a was a pike, which is a fallen vehicle, right? Uh huh. And that, that yeah, has like that, one, weapon. that one right there. Yeah, and, you, just... you and you occasionally see that in explore yeah, mode, actually, in the alpha. There are enemies riding that. You occasionally see that, but okay. it's kind of rare. Can you can you hide? And you can't capture it. Zone C. You can't capture it. Is that it? Hello? Is this thing on? Yeah, what? No, can, <laughs> can you hijack or use the pike if you see Yeah, you said you saw a pike set by other characters. Uh, that's something you can't capture. No. I mean, well, maybe. I'm not sure, because I blew it up, so I don't know. <laughs> Aw. Uh, and what was so the other one? There was, a much, he... there was a slightly bigger... It seemed like it also was a single-person vehicle, but bigger and boxier. Yes. What's that? It's, it's really good. I don't know what it's called, though, but it has, like, devastating guns and rockets. It looks like a Volvo. So how it works is you, you take all your weapons in from... Uh, your your campaign, and uh, just like just like in Explorer and whatever mode, you can go to the menu and you can swap out your weapons at any time. But you lose your ammo, you know. So okay, so you must hate not you must hate that lost. then, right? Because wait a minute, did you just kill one of your own guys? No, there's there's no friendly fire by the way, so you don't have to worry about that. Oh, okay. In in oh, any mode, good. right? Because I would say that. Trying to make things built on cooperative, you you would almost have to eliminate all possibility of friendly fire. Yeah. Well, that's something I've always wanted, and, and people are always complaining about. No, you can't do that. No, it'll ruin the game. Blah blah blah. I'm so nice that they've actually had that by definition. Yeah. All right. So. So there's so there's you don't have to worry about getting weapons on any of the maps. Yeah. So no but map control. How it works. Like that now, does it change map control at all, or does map control just shift from the weapon yes. to the ammo drops? It basically just shifts from the weapon to the ammo drops. And so you start off, you get the, the special ammo is available when the map starts. But maybe halfway through the match, they start dropping in heavy ammo. Okay, so... Yeah, this reminds me a, a lot of Unreal. Okay, so could you have been revived at your death spot by a teammate uh, during this mode, or...? No. No. Okay, so that's only in the in what the story mode when you're playing co-op. Yes. Okay. Now, did, does it does it bother you now that the idea that, for instance, somebody could play co-op or story mode for a long time and they have leveled up and they have good gear and they could come into their first multiplayer match ever and they will have better gear than someone, for instance, who's been playing well, multiplayer for quite a while, but their gear is just not quite as good because they the haven't played any First of all, the, uh, the weapon attack power is normalized among everybody, so you don't get an advantage that way. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So, what, so <laughs> what does it matter that you're bringing your... your I mean, doesn't, isn't it going to just bother people when the gun that they... that the gun that is really awesome in solo and in story mode and strike, and strike is coming into... It's been nerfed, yeah, it's been nerfed for multiplayer. For multiplayer. <laughs> I don't know. I had a feeling they would have to do that simply to, to make it playable. You would have to ask Schooly D. He would, cause he, well, he thinks that mul the, the multiplayer sucks because you die too fast. It does seem to be kind of fast-paced, even compared to, to, to Halo. Okay, it's not Unreal Tournament. It's, it's a little bit faster paced compared to Halo, but it's really, it, it, but it's slow compared to something Zone like Titanfall. Oh. I keep seeing these skull indicators and thinking, oh, there's a skull, go pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> Zone B, secure. Okay, so you're, you're recruiting. 
Now, I, uh, kudos to Bungie for making this an objective type and not a slayer. I, I appreciate that. Um, so you're accruing points uh, by controlling the territories, and you can't just control the territory. You have to you have to neutralize the previous and team's control, the and then you count up to con- to take the take the territory yourself. Yeah, they they did this for Unreal in in their multi. Yeah. You know, well, so. I mean, it's in Halo too. It's part it's of basically some, some of the uh, it was in Some Mythic. of the hesitation is because the uh, the hunter super is really really good in multiplayer because basically you have three shots on it, and it's each shot is an insta kill, so you can basically just waste three people at once. Yeah, and, and not just a headshot. That's an insta kill as, as a body shot. Anywhere, you can hit him on the toe. <laughs> so it's now, is that going to mean that most people are going to be neutralized. going for those particular types it's of characters, so that they'll be? Yeah. yeah, there you go. There it is. I'm there just go. wondering if. So let's. I'm, yeah, I'm just I kill wondering somebody. If, there we go. Bam. And how does this long? How long does this last? You can see the super meter is depleting. It lasts yes. until it's okay. So, so it's, it's not gone. just three shots. It's three shots or a time limit. So if you have nobody to shoot at, you you'll just lose it. Correct. Yeah, that seems to be the dynamic they're going for. Everything has a time limit. Everything has a range of effectiveness. So it just seems like the hunter is the best character for multiplayer because, and you've got the throwing knife, which is insta kill when you get a critical. So that's, so. that's good because that was the class I was going to play anyway. So. Oh yeah, the hunter is sweet. Are they? You, you think now, they'll is there have anything to... else besides the hunter that you had? You know, noticed something special about it that you that you enjoyed or thought was effective? Or so, was just the hunter it? It's like there's no other point to even try to use anybody else's character. I really don't know because I'm not huge. <laughs> I'm not huge into competitive multiplayer. But you didn't try any of the other ones, I assume. Uh, I played. I played with the Titan for a while. I, I their, their super seems less effective just because you smash the ground and you have to be physically near enemies. I guess it'd be alright if you're trying to hold territories. Okay, so it's a single ability based on on class, and that's it. Enemy captured yeah. Zone C. I, I have seen a lot of people talk about how great they think the hunter is, so I wonder if they'll have to rebalance if they find in their population that, like, a, you know, that Well, a yeah, that's what I'm wondering if they, they end up doing that. Zone a right. If, if, if it's as good as he says, why would anybody use anything else? And Oh, and there's a turret. Zone a. Oh, and you're not going to get a chance to use that. <laughs> nope. Uh, oh, that would have been fun. Yeah, that's another Unreal thing that I, I remember using a lot. So yeah, it, it got strange. It was strange to get used to the fact that you could summon a vehicle whenever you want. Yeah, that seems weird to me because instead of being spawned on the other side of the map, you can go to the other one in several well, seconds. That, but that's great so, though because I think in, in in well, it eliminates the the effectiveness of killing other characters. If it doesn't. Come back it doesn't in two eliminate it. It them. reduces it. It means that you're you're not going to do as well if you're playing Slayer in an objective. Thing. But it also not means that me. just because you've fallen behind in time doesn't mean you should give up. I mean, there. I, I'd say there's too many points where very early in a, in a territory type game, you get so far behind that you just, well, I, you know, there's no point even playing. Right, there's everybody minutes, bails. There's minutes left in the lose, game. There's uh, no point in playing because there's so big an advantage. Right. But if you can so, quickly so that is, identify a point to travel to it, then you can stay competitive. So that is the uh, the machine gun heavy that I just used. Yeah, and you shot one of your teammates right there. Way to go. No, I missed him. <laughs> <laughs> I so so let's see so you failed on two counts you failed on hitting your target you aimed for and you failed because you forgot to identify him as your own I guy. I told you I wasn't very good at multiplayer. So that that that's that's failing twice. It's not you you you've mentioned so. before that your your internet connection is not that great but you haven't noticed any any lag or problems. Yeah, there's no, no lag nothing. or, or I mean, anything. Maybe it's just because it's the alpha and there aren't a whole lot of people on there but it it's been really smooth. I haven't noticed well, you think anything. This, now, is this a global, or is this just U.S.? That's a good question. I don't know. Uh, see, I'd just be curious, because if it's U.S. and it's close to you, that could be the reason why it's so good. But if it's global, and you're not running into any lag problems with the low bandwidth you've got, that's pretty cool. Yeah, how low is your band? Uh, it's three megabit up, one... Or, no, three megabit down, one megabit up. Wow. Wow. Wow, that is pretty low these days. I, I have to say, knowing that, I'm even more yeah, impressed. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I would say, I mean, that's, uh, if it works with that, then I think uh, a lot of people will be able to It'll play. pretty much it, work it with anything. It should work yeah. for us, yeah. Yeah, what are you on right now, now? Uh, I am. I have a couple of them. I have one that is uh, six down and about one up, although really it only gets about 700. And the other one mm-hmm. is uh, 10 down, 10 up. Okay. But, it only, but it only gets like one to two up, up so. states, effective. 
But yeah. still, yes. Uh, I'm, really, really, ping is, I think, the, the big thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, now, do you know what your ping is for this? No. Is there an indicator? No. My US ping is 200, and I'm never going to ever get better than that. But, but that's what matters for multiplayer. The problem we had with Halo 3 co-op was that its bandwidth requirement was so high that it was a slideshow. Yeah. It was trying to keep the whole world state in sync, and it just was so slow it wasn't trying to play. Yeah, everything and would just stutter. If they built this from the core up to be co-op, uh, that hopefully there shouldn't be that much difference between, say, you know, playing a co-op story or a co-op strike. Um, yeah, no, like, because I've been in the explore mode and there's been, like, eight dudes just running around and they don't teleport around at all. That's fantastic. Nice. So we'll, have to, we'll have to wait and see for ourselves, but uh, very, very encouraging, I gotta say. Now, will they have dynamic, uh, dynamic daytime on the moon? Like, if you play for two months, will you see, you know, will you see the sunset? <laughs> No, well, if but it's accelerated, uh, so it's probably two days. They they do have, uh, I believe they do have the uh, the day night cycle on the uh, the Earth map. Enemy captured zone C. Hey, I think I see a shadow base. Um, yeah. So as as far as the multi ones that were available, there was this one, and what was the other one? Uh, there's an Earth map. There's an Earth map, and did you notice any massive difference? between the gameplay there and here? Because I noticed that it doesn't seem to be a low-gravity environment. Even no, I was really disappointed in that. Apparently, all the planets and everything, it's going to have the same gravity amongst all of them, which was really disappointing. I was kind of hoping yeah, that's that you a could weird. jump really high on Mars, you know, but... Right, right. I guess the explanation is that when the Traveler came, everything changed, right? Including so, the laws blah, of physics. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, including cop-outs. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe, maybe they can, the tra maybe they maybe can the traveler change some. Maybe the Traveler had some Jaro technology to add mass to the planet. I don't well, know. see, to me, for the fans of people who do like working in low-grav environments, that at least to me would have been the justification of why you would go to the moon or to Mars to would experience that as opposed to Earth. But to go back and say, no, 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 gravity is all the same, we changed physics. Because, yeah, and I, and I that, think that would open up open up a lot of cool things for level design, too. Right. right. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I agree. And I am not a fan of low-gravity environments, but as, as a dynamic option, it should be there. You know, and being on a planet that doesn't have the same gravity as yours, that's the justification. Well, I mean, you're always going to have the custom game where you're going to be able to... Ah, uh, uh, well, that, uh, yeah, that was my next yeah. question. Did you see any indication Zone that B that exists? Actually. No, but I can't imagine them not. Well, I know, but no, I haven't I, seen I, any I mention can. of it. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying. Just Especially saying. at this point, where they're so close to release and not mentioning something like that, yeah, that would be like a big feature they would want to advertise. Well, you look at the resistance yeah, I mean, that the... was about, about playlists and stuff. I can easily see that you really want, however you want people to play, you've got to get it firmly established before you throw the custom option in. Because otherwise, what happens is that people just go straight to customs, and whatever your hoppers are, they just ignore them. Yep. So. Yep, pretty much. So basically, this is a lot like Halo's multiplayer. Like, if you like Halo multiplayer, you'll love this. Yeah. Don't know. Never lost. It, <laughs> okay, see, what's a, I'm not even ashamed to put up a video where I lost. What's so. a what's a grimoire yeah. card? What's that? I've seen that a few times. What, oh, what are those are those are you go to the alpha.bunchy.org and they're like they're like collectible cards that you can view and those have the flavor text on them. Collectible. Oh, okay, five. so it basically reveals lore to you. That's the idea, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay, and what was your so bounty? Yes, your, your, your weapons. Walking tall. What was that? Yeah. Oh. um... In the uh, in the tower, there's a guy who gives you bounties, and those are essentially like challenges in Halo Reach. So you can keep up to three at three multiplayer and three um, story ones at once. Uh, so you pick which ones you want to do, and then when you accomplish a bounty, you get it, and then you get whatever reward it is you get for the bounty. Oh, okay. So that was just a multiplayer bounty. I don't know what it was. 